just actually just stay with his team and just purely team fight on a Z, even though he was better off split pushing. Yeah, I don't think this is a team that really wants to fight. This is kind of like a lot of split focus. And H2K, speaking of focus, they just know exactly what they want. Starting off the board, Fnatic versus H2K. This is the LCS Spring Split 2015. All right. So, so there's potential for a lot of fights in February and going a bit aggressive. Yellowstar already roamed from the bottom lane. He be still back like, all alone. This could be trouble. The bull is down, but the stun is as well. Yellowstar gonna have Both to flash out of that one, and that's a win for H2K. So H2K reading the support, and that's a little worrying. Well, it's a different play style. Let's just see what happens here. Reino finding Lulix. A yep, little bit of jungle fight going down. Now, wait a minute, Rainover. Olaf is very dangerous when low, and he forces the flash. This is one of the reasons for this Olaf pick here. The one He's actually going to make his way up to the top side now, looking for Odawamne, but that was a timely ward from him. Going to spot that one out, and he knows he's still in a bit of a trap, though. Rainover's thinking it over if he wants to go in level four to level six. Maybe not the best play. Player. Wait a minute, what's going on? There was no Huni support, and that's first blood to Odawamne. Very greedy here, level four for Rainover against the level six Aurelia, and of course, Huni caught on the other side of the tower here. Pushing, and you know the enemy jungle is going to come up there to gank. You have Rengar sitting ready. Let them start the gank first, then you pop it. But now it's going to be on to Huni. He's caught a little bit out of position here. Right oh. into each other. Ooh, Back abort mission, yeah. That's that's, yeah. Once they saw the ultimate from Huni, they wanted to back off. Yeah, chance. So they really want to keep him in the thick of things as long as possible. And it's, it's hard to say anything is meta or not, but oh my goodness, here we go. Odoamne and Huni. The 2v1 Lulix, they're going to secure it, and that is Huni going down. Odoamne 2 0. Nice little setup here, and again, vision there, and you just really never know where Yellowstar is going to be. Here we go. Ryu smited down by Rain Rainover as well. But they're going to have to back off because Odawame is teleporting on in and they do not want to deal with him. Oh, look at that damage already. Transcendent Blades. He's going to go for it. Flashes back out. Here we go. Raid over. And he's going to pick the kill after the Ragnarok. Odawame is down. And another teleport coming in. They found Lulix. A Tibbers. They're going to jump on him. But he's going to jump on his deal back. And he just blew him right up. That's, That's right. going to open a dragon up for Fnatic. And just like that, they've blown this game open. Odawame here. Even though he got the two early kills, he goes to create the picks or maybe use... Oh, oh yeah. and the Sibyl ulti straight yeah. on Yellowstar. Immediately trying to jump on him. Rainover's here. The Tibbers is down. However, Yellowstar is going to melt. Yarnan picks this one up. But Vivin trying to provide some backup. But Ryu is the one that goes down. Voidal now extremely low. It's a double kill. Going over to Huni and Steelbacks coming in from the back. Trying to join the party. And he blows up Yarnan. Now H2K are just starting to melt. But can they pick up more? Not for Vivin. Odawamne says no thank you very much. And it's a two for four. Uh, the shock caller sometimes can get frustrated when they're the ones that get picked off first. But... At that point, it's just easier. You're not having to control the champion anymore. Yeah. Oh, hold there, there we go. They're going to try to jump on him. Deathmark is down, and his health bar oh. is going all the way down to zero. Huni with the Rampage kill. Yeah, definitely uh, can't take too much from it, but here we go. Odawamne going to bait the Deathmark out of Fabivin, who's going to back away from this one on the hunt now. Pop looking for rain over, but still extremely dangerous to try and jump on an old teleport. Coming oh, in, Odawamne. Oh, huge Timber stun, and that is going to be Fnatic getting the turnaround. Huni, unstoppable. They're looking for Voidal. They should be able to find him, and this tower should be going down as well. Massive play from Fnatic. Two kills to none. And again, every single time we on the board. The Vivian may not have any kills, but seven assists with no deaths isn't too bad either. Oh, going in once again for H2K. Yep, Exhaust is down for Vivian. They're going to try to run out. Here we go. Voidal going to check onto for Vivian. Here we go. They're going to try to turn around. Oh, the over. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Death mark on the Voidal. Rainover coming up with a kill on Yarnan, and everyone from H2K is scattered. Huni joining the fight. Lulex invisible might just be able to get away. Oh, sneaking away. Just barely. Game here. And again is why his backfire is so hard for H2K. They're trying once again on yeah, the They're getting the chilling smite down. Lulix, they want this fight, but he's going to death mark away from the solar flame. They still pop him down. They he may pay for this in. one, but H2K are going to dedicate to killing Yellowstar. All that's down. They get a double kill going over to steal back. However, this is just kind of going a little back and forth. It's a two for three, and Fnatic still comes out ahead. Same again. I mean, every single fight. You know something's up, but they're not going to get there in any time at all. And a Baron snuck away by Fnatic. Yep. At 28 minutes. Great use of pink wards here. Every single member has bought a lot of wards because they're getting so much gold from these kills here from the fight. They want more. Gates as well. They're, they're going to run harder. Where did his health bar go? And he gets his spell shield out too late. Timber's going down. They're going to solar flare to try to get away from this one. But they just don't have the retreat. Lulex taken down by Steelback. And they have to get away from this one. Losing a member. And they might lose a turret here too.
Well, let's see if they can actually defend. Still four guys left from HGK. They're back into base healing here, and Fnatic has no minions at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, gonna jump in. Woo, yeah. that was not recommended. Fabivin oh. coming up with his kill there, and it's going to be another one. Huni flashing forward. The laser oh. nearly oh. finishes him off, but the Zanyas will keep him alive. Things up in there. It's living dangerously. Oh, maybe oh, not. No. Oh, all of a sudden, hey, there's three members right behind you. Spell shields down. Maybe they can get the oh. chase. Burn both of his summer spells, but there's still a Timbers, and I think they're gonna find him. Rainover says, "No, you don't." Another pickup, and Fabimin says, "Hey guys, I'm here." Here we go. They've got a normal wave coming on in, and they're going to start pushing in on oh, Oidle, he's coming. gonna get a big solar flare. This is they what they have to do to try and save a life. Lulex Huni gonna pick up a kill though, and there is Lulex going down. Fabivin picking up the kill, and just like that, they get two for none. Barely scratched, but for steel back. And there's a tower going down here. Should be an inhibitor. How much can Fnatic grab up for this? No, they don't want the inhibitor, they're going for game. Here we go, pushing it down. They're going to be able to take him down. The super minions are just way too strong here. H2K offering absolutely no resistance, and 33 and a half in, GG Fnatic is 2-0. Man, this team looks absolutely fantastic in their teamwork, shot calling, the mechanics from the...